Today, I am making a interior panel for a 1930 Model A door. This one in particular is a, uh, um, a right side door panel. We ordered these uh, f uh, panels from um, a online manufacturer and they're just basically uh, pressed cardboard. Okay, uh, it's kind of pre-cut, not really exactly the way we want it, so I already pre-fit this to the door. I had to enlarge a couple of sections, and they did not come with the pre-drilled holes for mounting, like you see here. So that had to happen um, in the pre-fit uh, portion of this. This panel comes uh, painted black on one side, and this is the side that's going to go towards the door. and. On this side, what I did was I used some varnish, spray varnish like this one here, clear wood finish, and sprayed this um, as to just preserve it. You know, if this panel gets wet, I didn't want it to just kind of break apart on me and, and come loose. Because after all, it is just paper. Uh, what I'm going to do here is, first step is, is, is to pre-measure this to the door. And now I'm getting ready to lay my batting down some underlayment, um, and also our fabric. This is the fabric uh, that I'm going to use. Um, we picked this up at Walmart, actually. It was a really nice fit for um, the interior seat, and we really love the texture. And, you know, since our car is green, um, this is going to work out perfect for us. So first thing you do is lay out your fabric and then pre-cut the piece that you're going to use for the panel. So I've already trimmed some of it. It's going to look like this. And just cut a little bit past, about an inch on each side. Okay, so once our, our piece of fabric is cut, it looks like this. We're going to test fit this fabric over our panel just to see if we have the size that we're looking for. It's going to be like this, okay? And it's about an inch or two extra around the whole panel. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing to the batting for under the fabric. I really wanted a little bit of softness um, to this panel. I wanted to give it a little more dimension. And uh, so I decided to put some batting in there. I know originally this didn't come this way, but just a little bit, and I think it's gonna look much, much better and more custom uh, for us. So this is our underlayment. It's, um, it's not very thick. It's really, um, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch thick, but it's gonna give it a little bit more dimension. Uh, same procedure as before, lay out your batting, and then trim around the piece that we're going to use. So that's what I'm going to do. Trim around this piece. Okay, so this is the piece of batting that I cut to my panel. Uh, and and you know, unlike the fabric, this piece has to be about the same exact size as the panel. Don't worry if it's a little bit wrinkly, because once I stretch this, it's going to straighten out. Okay. Now the first step is to use this adhesive, spray adhesive, 3M Super 77. This stuff is fantastic for um, uh, adhering or using this to um, to adhere to the panels. Uh, it's it's super fast, works great. If you make a mistake, it'll pull back without ruining anything, and uh, and straighten it out. It's really really great uh, great stuff. Okay, so the first thing to do is to spray a coat of adhesive around the whole panel. And give it a nice even coat. Not too much, you don't need much. The batting is going to stick to it. No problem. There you go. Alright. So there it is. Now we've got to wait a, 
uh, about, uh, about 10 seconds or so. And then when it's a little tacky, I can put the batting on top and straighten it out. Okay, the batting is, uh, I mean, the, the, uh, the spray is tacky. What I like to do is fold the batting over in half, get that all lined up right here, and then stretch it on back to the end of the panel. Okay, so this is the panel now with uh, the batting on here. I stretched it to fit. It was no problem. It's not too thick. Next step is going to be to put some more of this adhesive right on top of this uh, batting. And then on top of that, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put our fabric. Okay, I sprayed the adhesive on this and it's tacky. I folded up my fabric and I'm just going to unroll it now. across my panel and as you pull from the inside out all the creases come right out of the panel and we'll stretch it in in the next step okay once I um, I stretched the fabric on the other side and smoothed it out I just turned the whole panel over as you can see we left a about an inch inch and a half over to the sides here okay and this is where this spray adhesive is just fantastic um, it's super easy to do this next step we're going to fold this over on each side this fabric and this adhesive will will hold it but first we have to put a line of adhesive all the way around on the fabric and on the panel so here we go Okay. All right, that's more than enough. As you can see, there's a line of adhesive there. We'll give that about uh, 10 seconds or so to um, tack up, and then I'll pull this pan over and stretch it over to the, um, to the side. When you're ready to stretch this panel, it's going to be really easy to do. You just fold it over, pull, on one side and smooth it out up to the corner. Don't fold these over because right now this is tacky and this is tacky. We don't, we don't need to have that together yet. We're going to trim this. Okay, and then we'll go to the other side. We're going to pull on this panel, stretching it and folding it over. Okay, so you can see I pulled this side and this side, and now our panel is slowly pulling itself stretched there. So we pull the wrinkles out. Now we'll do the same exact thing to the ends. But before we do that, we're going to have to trim this end off. So then we can fold this over. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, with a razor blade, like this one, you cut this off so it's like this. Then... Here's the other side. I'm going to cut this off. It's hard to do this when you have the camera on one hand. Here we go, like this. Okay. Now when we fold this side over, it will neatly fold over the corner and we'll just trim this off. Okay, now I have all of these uh, sides tacked down. All I have to do now is to just trim these pieces off. Okay, so now my corners are all cut and pressed. They're not going anywhere. This is nice and neat. Okay, now I'll flip this over. Show you what our panel looks like. There's our panel. Now all we have to do is to cut the holes out for our crank handles and for our uh, access to uh, uh, the latch. Now all we have left to do is to test fit the panel onto the door and with the assistance of the uh, master here of this car restoration, Mr. V, it looks like it looks great. How do you like it? Wonderful!
Yay. Yay.